Well, good afternoon, YouTube land out there. Hi, how are y'all doing? Ask me how am I doing. I am blessed. I'm blessed. I don't care how hard sometimes things can be. God makes a way. He really does. Uh, the burden is lifting in Jesus' name. And uh, I just want to let y'all know y'all prayers are being heard. My prayers are being heard. And um, we just have to just uh, stay unmovable in our faith. I don't care what it looks like sometimes. We have to just keep the faith and know that God is still moving. And when we get to that point where we feel like we can't carry something, just know that God is picking us up and he's going to carry us through whatever the problem and situation is. Amen. And I'm really loving the lesson we have today. And I've, I've been really anxious to get into it, but I've been so busy uh, today. It, it took a minute to get my first priorities out of the way today. But here we are, y'all. Here we are. Um, 2 Samuel 22, and today is our 277th day to this awesome challenge. And guess what, y'all? You know, I've been so, you know, committed to finishing up 2 Samuel. Do you know we have two more chapters after today? Look at God. Two more chapters. It's only 24 chapters in this book, and we are almost done. Oh, so good. Just clean, refreshing ice water. That's what I'm having this afternoon. And I know you all probably already had y'all drinks already this morning. So just tell me what you're having right now, okay? <laughs> just tell me. And we just going to keep it moving, okay? All right. And David spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, the God of my rock in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my savior that saves me from violence. I will call on the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. When the waves of death compass me, the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compass me about. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried to my Lord and cried to my God. And he did hear my voice out of his temple and my cry did enter into his ears. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of heaven moved and shook because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth. Devoured coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet. And he rolled under a cherub. And did fly, and he was seen upon the wings of the wind. I accidentally read the 11th verse. Okay, y'all, this is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful word today. I'm not saying the rest of the words wasn't wonderful, but this is one of those hallelujah type of words that we got today. Amen. And I'm going to go ahead and read the Google summary, even though most of that was self-explanatory. I really enjoyed how this writer broke that chapter down. So here we go. This chapter consists entirely of a song that David sings praising God after God has saved him from his enemies and from Saul. Now, you know, Saul, before he died, before he killed himself, because Saul did kill himself, um, David had escaped many times from Saul, many times. God led and guided David to survive Saul's plots to kill him, okay? So besides Saul, it's been other people. You know, his own son was trying to kill him. And we just finished talking about Absalom, okay? Other people before his son had been trying to kill him. Other people since his son has been trying to kill him, okay? 
He says that God is his rock, his shield, and other metaphors for a protector, stating plainly that God has saved him from his enemies. Can we say that about God? Do we have that same testimony? That God has saved us. He's our rock. Ah, oh, an unmovable rock. He is our shield. God blocks us. Oh, hallelujah. And other metaphors. So other descriptions of a protector. You know, these metaphors, uh, technically a rock is an inanimate object. But God, God has been a rock and a shield to David. What other metaphors we can come up with? God has been, uh, oh my God, God has been a sword for me. You know, what? Well, I don't have to fight back. I don't have to uh, defend for myself. Hallelujah. I can let God defend for me. I can let God's word be sharp because the word of God is sharper. It's sharp like a two-edged sword. It cuts in and comes right back. All we got to do is just give the word of God and just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. David said he felt like he was surrounded by death. The underworld of Sheol seemed to be all around him like Hades. Okay, the underworld. He, he could feel death all around him. Ugh. Have you ever been in that situation that you felt like death was all around you? And it don't have to be people coming against you either. It could be sickness. You, you could be going through a sickness that you feel like death is all around you. Or maybe you have a testimony where it was in a past that God brought you through a sickness. I'm going to testify on behalf of my father right quick. He suffers from congestive heart failure. Only a few weeks ago, it wasn't looking too good. Doctor told me yesterday, your father' kidneys were shutting down. How he doing now? I said, you know what? My ba my daddy is a, a walking miracle. He's a walking miracle. And the doctor couldn't do nothing but agree with me. Because even if they wasn't expecting him to be gone four weeks later, they wasn't expecting him to be doing the things that he's doing now. I mean, my daddy is able to walk around. My daddy appetite has came back full circle. Uh, he's not just nibbling here and there anymore. Uh, when he first came home from the hospital, I had to feed him like a little infant. And sometimes he didn't even want that. But God, woo, hallelujah. That's the testimony that I'm telling for my daddy. Amen. Um, but God heard his cries for help in fire and anger. God moves against David's enemies, making the heavens and the earth quake. God flies on a cherub and covers himself in darkness with light like coals flaming in front of him. God, God's act of saving David is, he says, like parting the Red Sea for Moses all over again. Wow. Can you imagine that David felt like uh, God was parting the Red Sea like he did for Moses. Some of the troubles that David has been through, he felt like it was the Red Sea being parted for him like God did for the children of Israel. Have God ever done something like that for you in your life that you can compare it to the Red Sea being parted? Woo! God is good. God draws David, rewarding him for his righteousness. David claims that he followed God's rules and didn't deviate from them. God appears to people the way themselves, the way they are themselves. If they're loyal, God will be loyal. If they're pure, God will be pure. But if they're wicked and perverse, God will be wicked and perverse. If people are humble, God will save them. But if they're proud, he'll look to take them down. David praises God for giving him his strength and his ability to rule and complete in combat and for granting him victory over his enemies. Even says David, foreigners were made to serve David thanks to God's help. The other nations were, were cowed and David remained Israel's head of state. 
David ends by further praising God for saving him and helping him, calling him a tower of salvation. That's who God is for us, for me. I'm going to speak for me. Y'all got to speak for y'all selves. God is my high tower. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's my rock in a weary land. He's my shelter in a time of storm. And he's my healer. He's my provider. And he's that way for my family as well. Amen. If I were to take the time out to just tell testimonies, I would have so many testimonies. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Woo! Don't y'all have some testimonies? I know y'all do. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Stay dry. It's been raining here in Chicago. How about you all? What's going on? Take care. Love yourselves. Number one, love God, and he will take care of everything else. Believe that. Bye.